it's Adriana and today's video I'm going to show you how to make custom t-shirts using iron-on transfers. My son has his 100th day of school tomorrow and I'm getting a late start on his t-shirt. So if you want to see the easiest way to use um, iron-on transfers, maybe you want to start a t-shirt business or a graphic tee business. This can also work for pants, hats, etc. So um, just keep watching. He's also going to use these little glitter, um, washable glitter Crayola things, <laughs> glitter glue. So um, I'm really excited about this. So what you will need for this is obviously a t-shirt or some type of fabric, whatever you're, you plan on using. Um, I'm also gonna link this down in the description, these Avery transfer papers for light fabrics. And as you can see, it can be used for inkjet printers because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions on what kind of printer to use. Just a regular inkjet printer. You also wanna use like a pillowcase or something to lay the shirt on or you can just use just a regular um, ironing mat. Of course, you're gonna need to iron. I got this iron from Walmart for like $10. A laptop to print off your picture. And this is the inkjet printer that I have. It's an HP OfficeJet ink inkjet printer it um, scans faxes copies and all that good stuff so just a regular 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 printer that I got off Amazon so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is figure out what image you want to use I am going to use this image happy hundredth day of school and then also with these these are for light fabrics so um, if you wanted to use dark fabrics like a dark uh, purple blue black you would have to get it for um, dark fabrics and not light, but I'm working with white shirts, so I'm going to be using the light fabrics. So this is probably the most important step in all of this is to flip your image because when you print it, it's going to, if you print it regular and you iron it on the shirt, it's literally gonna be backwards like this on the shirt. So you wanna print it backwards so that way when you flip the paper over to iron it on, it can look regular. I also suggest that you print this on a blank sheet of paper first and so you can get an idea of how it's gonna look and make sure it's correct before you actually use it on the transfer paper because you do not want to waste the transfer paper. I also had to scale this image so it filled up the entire page and then I'm gonna print. So this is how it's gonna look when it prints and I'm just gonna flip it over on the shirt and iron it on. But I wanna make sure that since I'm ironing on my countertop and I don't have an ironing board, I'm going to iron it on this um, fabric so that way it doesn't ruin my countertop. And I'm gonna make sure everything is smoothed out. You wanna make sure your shirt is flat, your surface is flat, everything is even and no wrinkles, wrinkle free. You do not wanna iron this on a wrinkled shirt. I always go over and iron the shirt as well. When your shirt has no wrinkles, just go ahead and lay it centered or wherever you want it. I want mine centered. Since I am using a large sheet of paper, this is the largest I've ever used for these iron-on transfers. Usually I'm using like half or a third of the sheet of paper, but since I had to use the entire paper, I put the iron down in the middle just to seal it in place and that way I could go around the edges. You also wanna do this for a couple of minutes, but since, you are, since I am using a larger sheet of paper, I did this for between five to seven minutes. Do not leave the iron just sitting on the transfer paper like this. You wanna evenly distribute the heat. When you're done, slowly peel from one of the corners and this is how it would look. I think my printer was running out of ink, so it's kind of screwed up at the bottom. I'm not really worried about it because my son's just going to decorate this and wear it to school. But this is how it would look. As you can see, the white areas of the shirt, this is why this is for light fabrics. You can cut around the words and cut the inside of the O's out, 
but honestly like i said this is for my son for school and i was not about to do all that so he's perfectly fine with having the little the white areas around now we are just decorating the shirt and i did some 100 emojis i think i did a pretty good job so he's home from school and he told me that everyone loved his shirt thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye